guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a grocery haul. So I just brought everything in. That's why I look like a hot mess and I'm sweaty. This is everything I got. And I remembered my reusable bags today, which thank goodness Matt wasn't here to help me carry in groceries. Those things make it so easy to carry in groceries so you don't have to lug five million plastic bags and they're better for the environment and these ones right here these black ones they are the best reusable bags that i've ever used i love them love them love them love them anyway let's take all this stuff out and i'll show you everything i got thirsty Okay, so here's an overview of everything. I sectioned it between stores, kind of. Turned on the light. Oh, Jacob's got to inspect everything. So I go to Sam's and I went to Kroger. I've kind of enjoyed shopping at Kroger more. They have like better selection than Walmart, I think, sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes I still go to Walmart for a few things that I can't ever find, but for the most part, I shop at Kroger and Sam's Club, which if you don't shop at Sam's Club, what are you doing? Like, we're just a family of two, but just such a, a better deal to get stuff like pickles, fruit, like, just try it out. Trust me, you won't dis be disappointed. Okay, so I'm gonna go through everything that I got. I'm gonna start with Sam's. Sorry, I can't show you pictures. Alexa. Let's get my tomatoes at Sam's Club. I love that they come in this big package and this is enough for me to have usually two a day, every day of the week. Oh, by the way, this is a weekly grocery shop. This isn't like a monthly grocery shop or anything. This is like food that we needed for meals for the week or just like stuff that we needed. I was thinking of doing a video where I show you everything that I get grocery shopping and then show you the meals that I make throughout the week with said groceries because I try to make something new every week or every day of the week, well, Monday through Thursday, Friday's pizza party, Friday night. If you're interested in that, I'll put a poll here and you can vote if you want me to do that or if you think that's a good idea. Let me know because as you have seen, I'm back on YouTube more. I need more video ideas to record, so let me know if you're interested. Get my chicken from Sam's. Usually I get chicken breasts, chicken thighs, and chicken tenderloins, um, but they only had chicken tenderloins this week. And I get this big bulk thing, only for $12. And this is what I do. Ugh. I got this vacuum sealer, and I just section off the meat for each meal into a vacuum seal bag, and then I seal it like this, and stick it in the freezer so it will last, like, I only buy chicken like every couple weeks or so because it'll last us since multiple meals. It's pretty inexpensive and you can actually reuse the vacuum sealer bags or you can get them online, like a roll of them will last you and last you forever. So, I get that, I can link it for you if you want. It'll be the one that I, I got off Amazon. Really like it, especially for vacuum sealing my bulk meat. I also like to get our berries from Sam's. You get this big old thing of blueberries and then we get this big old thing of strawberries. I also get bread there. This is the bread that we get in Nature's Own whole wheat. I love the last this between one and two weeks so I just stick the other one in the freezer. And then I got the non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I'm trying to be a little more healthy with my recipes and I've found that this is a good, a good swap for like cream or sour cream even. Um, so I'm going to try it out this week. I'll let you know how it goes. Also, this is the first time I was ever able to find my pickles at Sam's. Usually I get them at Walmart and it's the same price for, oh, I can show you. It's the same price for a jar this big. Got two pineapples. I've been really enjoying pineapples recently, and I got this little core thing, 
Oh, I can show you that too. It's this little gadget. You just stick this into the, or you cut the top off the pineapple, you stick it in and you twist it. And it makes like the perfect pineapple spirals and you just put them in a bowl, pop them in the refrigerator so they get nice and cold. And that's it. It's made cutting a pineapple so easy and not just a chore. So I've been buying pineapples recently and having them for a snack. And it's way better than having like chips or and pineapples are one of the best things that you can eat. So, I usually get one, but I got two this week. Oh, and, do you wanna know how to tell when a pineapple is ripe? I learned this on Facebook, I think, so. You smell the bottom of it, if it smells like a pineapple, and then if you take and you try to pull out a stem, if it pulls out rather easily, that means it's ripe. I didn't want to get them too ripe because I want them to last all week so I tried to get some that weren't all the way ripe so um, this one was kind of hard to pull out so it's not quite ready but that's a little tip if you didn't know. If the bottom smells like pineapple and you can pull the crown, a leaf out of the crown, ugh, see it doesn't want to come out rather easily. That is a ripe pineapple. The last two things that I got at Sam's are hand hats. This is a big two pound bag, and this will seriously last me probably like six months. <laughs> I love getting my peanuts and nuts from Sam's because the value is just so much better. Like this was, I think $13 for two pounds of cashews. If you get like, if you go to the regular store and try to get peanut, like cashews, especially they're like $10 for like one of those little containers, so. And they do have salted ones, and they have unsalted, and then they have less salt, or light salt. But I choose the unsalted ones. And then I got pecans. These are my two favorite nuts, just in case anybody was wondering. Oh, and the last thing that I got at Sam's. Sometimes you can find these at certain Sam's. What I hate, some Sam's sell different things. Like we went to a different Sam's, well not last week, we went to a Sam's that we'd never been to and they had like the most cool things and we like got a bunch of things that we can't find at our regular Sam's. So we're gonna like cycle through Sam's I guess because some sell other stuff like this purified water. I used to get these, like Matt still likes, Matt wants distilled water which whatever, he takes these to work with him and now that it's super hot out, he'll drink one of these a day. But me, I don't care so much. I just get the purified water and it's less expensive to get six gallons from Sam's than it is to buy them individually. So I get these, these will last me probably two weeks. I drink like two, one of these every two days. So, and oh, it's, they're super heavy. Anyways, that's the last thing from Sam's. Then I went over to Kroger. And this is what I got there. I guess I'll just start in front of me. We got some uncured, well I did, uncured hardwood smoked turkey bacon. Matt's not going to be happy because he loves regular bacon, but I'm trying to be more healthy with our cooking. And so I'm going to make paninis and paninis are so good with bacon on them. So I'm hoping that this being on a sandwich, he won't be able to tell too much. And then I got, I can't believe it's not butter. We usually get regular butter, but like I said, my doctor told me that my cholesterol is kind of high. So this, I guess, doesn't have any cholesterol in it. I didn't realize that. And it's less fat, I think, than regular butter. So just trying to take care of myself a little bit more. And then I got some coconut oil. I heard that this can be a good swap for a lot of healthier options when cooking. So I got that to try out. I hope it doesn't taste like coconuts, like when I cook with it, but we'll see. And then I got two things of cottage cheese. Yes, I'm still eating cottage cheese and tomatoes like every day, but I'm making this meal, This um, it's called Million Dollar Spaghetti and it has cottage cheese as the one of the ingredients, so I got two of them. And this is the first time I'm getting the fat-free ones. I usually get the 4%, but this has way less calories, uh, way less cholesterol, it only has five. 
So I'm gonna test it out and hopefully it's not too bad because my grandpa got me hooked on tomatoes and cottage cheese when I was a little girl and it's my favorite thing to eat. So thank you very much grandpa for that. And I got some cooking stock. This is just good to have on hand for meals. I get the unsalted one. And then another good snack when you are craving some salt are olives. They do, they have 125 milligrams per serving, but it's way better salt than trying to get like salt from chips or something. These are just a good snack to have. They also have a lot of good nutrients in them, which I read, but I love olives. I get the black olives. I got sliced and then I got medium ones just to like munch on and then these I like to add to my food. So I might actually add these to my paninis because I love olives on sandwiches. And then I got whole grain spaghetti. I love pasta and I'm trying to make the healthier option to whole grain. I do get a lot of veggie pasta as well. So I, we don't get any white pasta hardly at all anymore. I stick to whole grain. And then I got some biscuits. I love getting these little biscuits. They only have five in them there's only two of us we're gonna have biscuits and gravy one day next week so this little five biscuits is enough for us I have two and Matt has three and then there's none going to waste and then I got six jars six little cans of tomato sauce I like to get the ones with no salt added and then I like to use these for like when we have spaghetti or I'm gonna use them when we have that million dollar spaghetti they don't it doesn't really have any flavor but I like to add my own seasonings to these. Just put in some different seasonings and add some like garlic to it and it honestly tastes way, it honestly tastes really good and it's way healthier for you than the jarred spaghetti sauce that has a lot of added sodium and all that. So I like to get these. Um, we usually use like two cans at a time so I just restocked up just in case. And then I forgot these in the back. Matt's little guilty pleasure is Pringles, so he'll have these. He is, um, I don't know if you guys know, but he, Matt is my husband, hi. Um, he is a type one diabetic, and sometimes he needs some stuff to like get his blood sugar up. Yeah, chips aren't the best option, but everybody's got a guilty pleasure every now and then, right? Mine. I love chips too, but I try to stick to healthier chip options, which I didn't get any this week because I still have some left over from last time, and then I eat crackers. <sighs> I think I'm going to do these grocery hauls regularly, like every week. Would y'all like that? I'm getting winded though from talking so much. We're almost done. I got some skim milk. I We usually get um, almond milk or yeah, almond milk from Sam's. But for cooking, using almond milk, sometimes it's just not the best because we get the vanilla, we get the vanilla flavored almond milk and sometimes you just don't want your mashed potatoes to taste like vanilla. So I got this small thing of fat-free skim milk for this week's meals. So that's why I got that. <laughs> And then the last few things, these are match drinks for the week. He likes to drink these um, sports drinks to keep him hydrated because he does work outside and he sweats a lot. So these are good to keep his electrolytes up. So he likes the sugar, zero sugar ones because he is diabetic. So he just gets all the good vitamins from these. He likes the red, the orange, and the purple, and then this um, cherry one and then he I tried to get him off of these with no luck he needs energy drinks he says he doesn't like coffee but the rain ones they seem to be the best one so far they have zero sugar they only have 10 calories he really enjoys them the mango ones his favorite but I also got the peach and the melon he he also likes the lemon and I think there's one other one that he likes but I get these at Kroger because they usually have a sale on them. They used to be three for five and 
that sale is over, unfortunately, so they're only two for four now, so the vast majority of money that I spend is on his freaking energy drinks. That's like $12 right there, just on drinks. But anyways, oh, I forgot to show you the last non-grocery item, these shorts. I've been wanting a pair of these shorts, like the biker type shorts, and on Amazon they're like $20. I got a pair of black ones last week, and they are the best ever. They go up really high. You can see they go up past my belly button, so they suck everything in. I got the size small. Like, seriously, Sam's clothes run big, so I would maybe size down. You can also return if they don't fit. They have the pockets on the side, which I love, so I grabbed another pair. These, oh, I forgot to tell you, these are only like $7. Way better deal, and the quality is really good. I actually have a lot of leggings from Sam's and then I saw the same brand this brand um, had some shorts so I grabbed these gray ones because I like the black ones so much so yeah they don't just have food they have gross or they have clothes and stuff too but anyways I hope you enjoyed this different video not a cleaning video but we got to talk more and you got to see a little bit into what I like to eat let me know if you want me to do the grocery haul and the meals for the week. I would be interested in doing that for you if y'all want to see it. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Really appreciate you coming by. I would also appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up the video so Instagram knows that my channel is pretty cool and it will recommend me to other people so we can grow my family here. Also, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I don't post too much, but I do post sometimes, so I won't annoy you. Anyways, I'm gonna get off here now. I gotta put this stuff away. I'm gonna hop in the shower because I'm a sweaty mess. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.